And I'm also very happy to have my second daughter, Huni uh, Lim. Now, my topic here is how to create an iconic brand in real estate or real estate related. Now, you can see that uh, what we had here is our Singapore brand. We call it The Singapore Academy. When we do branding, what we do, I leverage on my country. I wish to say that we are so honored and so blessed in Singapore itself. Okay? Especially after this pandemic, you realize that there are so many investors coming to Singapore. So please come. Now, we consider ourselves your preferred training provider. You see that when you do iconic brand, especially every one of you, we leverage I use the word leveraging, so we leverage actually with the Singapore flag. I'm just one of the small SME, but I leverage on the brand itself as Singapore. Now, this is our power team. We call it the Power Rangers. Uh, I had the first one, of course, Ken Lim, my dear wife, Eileen, and then our head trainer, Harry Yo. And Harry Yo, it takes me quite a time to rope this power team together, believe me. Uh, Harry Yo was the ex president of IEA, one of the very established associations. So I had to go around and search. So for us, we want to build an iconic brand, go and look for the very best that you can find in the industry and get them in. And of course, we have Kensu, as I mentioned. Then we get a, a younger generation transition. We have Karen Ong. And of course, very honored that we had our my second daughter here together with me. Now, I'd like to do one post for all, everyone of you. We call it the power post. Can every one of you please sit up? Sit up straight. Sit up straight. Once you sit up, what happened to you? Suddenly, your body system change. You pay more attention. You are here in this meeting. So I encourage you, whatever you do, you do what you call power up. Now I become very conscious lately after I learned this. It's sometimes when I got very tired, I tend to slunch. Once I slunch, you know what happened? So everything you do has power up. Right? So throughout this meeting, you investing your time a busy schedule to come here to learn from the best of the very, very best. So I encourage you, power up everything. Why am I here? What am I doing? Consciously thinking, I'm here to learn. I'm here to leverage. I'm here to do the very best we can so that we can add value one to another. Now, let me share with you what we have achieved. And I mentioned this again. Be present. Be with the best. Learn from the best and multiply what we do. Now, you have to, you have to multiply. I was very bold to say this. I know that many of you here are millionaires. Now, money is... I like what our mentor Lee Kuan Yew said to all of us. You must be assessed, obsessed with profit. Profit is not active work. Everything to charity, you must... Make sure that more than enough, pay whatever expenses and the rest you give to charity. Social uh, responsibility. So multiply what we do. Now I want you to check yourself this year, next year, the year after next. Are you increasing your wealth? I believe that you can multiply, triple. And you can see that nowadays they don't talk about millionaire, they talk about billionaire. So this is quite important for all. This is how you engage yourself. Then you give yourself confidence for you to continue on. Now, in Singapore itself, again, you see that I always talk about branding. I put the thing that here about our company. Excellent across Asia, you're prepared, and I leverage on the Singapore brand. Now, I'm very honored to say we have Singapore, we have such a small little country. I have heard and I hope that I can learn from our government. The leadership 
transition from first mentor new to Bo Chok Tong, the third one, and now they are moving on to the fourth generation. Of, and the first one passed on, but the second one are still there, leading, guiding, and facilitating the best they can. So in our company here, we are very honored for Real Center Academy, this school itself, and I hope that we are able to leverage and work together with many, many of you people in the region itself, because since 2010, it's over a third. We have F. 40,000 alumni graduates. I mean, there are 40,000 people graduating from my school. And I want to share with you, talking about a kind of, uh, uh, building an iconic brand here is this. Once again, I say this. This is a top consultant from the government. And he came to my company. He wanted to help us to build Singapore brand. I know what he told me. What is 40,000? If you don't, Tap on them and continue to add value to them. They are just another numbers. They are just another database. So what he said that you have to leverage, create new value, create new value, create new value. The more value you add on, the more wealthy you become. And then I begin to think of this. So in our company, we have actually 30 professional trainers. And they just take a quick look at this one here, you see. They are actually leveraging on these 30. These trainers are helping me to create wealth and add value to our organization. Again, see that in Singapore itself, such a small place. Okay. Yes. So we have our HQ in Tuabayo, HPB, one of the most expensive places in town, believe me. We are paying as, many, as much as 30,000 Singapore dollars for a rental alone. But that place you can't buy. One is a government building. And you still stay there. I anchor there. Because all the agencies were all there. So location, location, location is a problem. Then after that, I had another one. Company HDB Hub. And just recently, I go and open up another one. My wife thought that, Ken, you're crazy. I spending money wisely. Now, investment, why I use the word investment? Investment on an iconic brand. People get to know you, people get to trust you, people start referring you, and people, what will happen? People will start doing business with you. Now, I learned this secret for many, many years. Actually, I'm in the early 70s, still going strong. I want to encourage you. It is also just a number. But I'm learning every day. I realized it. No, in the past, when I go to a convention, you know what I do? I give my card. You want to buy public coffee? You buy public coffee? In the first place, they don't even know you. Right? So what I learned to do now is I go there and make sure I add value. Create an icon brand for myself. And when the people come, they come to look for me. Rather, I start looking for people all the time. So I learned this secret. So what happened here is that we just opened up one. RCN and Marina. RCN and Marina is the prime, prime, prime location. Yet it's cheaper than my HQ. Paid only ten dollar per square, and, 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 and then I learned we don't need a big place. We make a location that's enough to build. So anyway, this is just for our trainers itself. Now, the next thing is I want to encourage you. I'm very honored and very blessed. I make time to come for this event. There's so many events that you can go. All of you are busy, busy, but you set priorities. Prioritize where you want to be. Hey, you are not omnipresent. You're not omnipotent. You know what I mean? Yes. We are human. We can be at one place only one time. Right? Cannot be everywhere. But you can leverage. Leveraging memorandum of understanding. We are very honored. We are the organization. We had it is because of iconic Brand that we do, we have 40,000 You know what happened? NTUC. NTUC, not just Cecil. NTUC themselves, they come and sign an MOU with us. God, they want my 40,000 alumni. I don't create another product, leverage on them and work with them. Far East organization, they actually came to us. One of the largest developers in Singapore. We have actually capital land that we are doing training. And SMU, 
don't want to create another real center university. We are not there. We are just only an academy. But what do we do? We leverage on SMU. Put SMU, SMU Academy. They tap on us, we tap on them. We leverage on each other. Nanyang University. So this is another one. I know that some of you will get it. Uh, I had only 45 minutes. I got two more speakers. Huh? Don't worry. Okay? Come, let's go. Now, position yourself, position your brand for, well, I use this word. Power principle number one. Position yourself, position your brand, position your brand. Now, you all are position yourself here, right? You position your brand. Let us know what is the best brand you have. We call it when you leverage on it. Now, I want to thank Dr. Om. Now, Nepal. I would love to go there. I'm, I told my, hey, it's time for us to travel a little bit more. Let's find an excuse to go to see Dr. Om. And we can leverage. We can, I don't go there. I don't go there. I'm not going to step on him all the time. I make sure I add some value to you. And then we cross border. Then we add. So position yourself and some of the tech. Now, I'm not here to teach you what to do. Please don't get me wrong. I just want to encourage you. Many of the things that you all are already doing, I just want to re endorse. What do you mean? You think that is right? Do more, do more, do more. And always gauge on the end result. When the result is not there, you refine, readjust. And then you move on. Refine, readjust, and you move on. Okay? Most people don't realize that you have to position yourself for wealth. Positioning is still the key. Have to position yourself for wealth. Okay? Now, that is actually power principle one. Now, I left power principle two, three, and four, my head trainer. Hello. Hi. Ah, hi. Ah, thank you. Uh, th thank you, Ken. Uh, let me continue. And he stated, uh, as uh, my boss has said, to be an iconic brand, we must position ourselves and our brand for success. What do you mean by positioning? Positioning means putting ourselves as the number one choice. There are many developers. Why should I choose your company? Because you rank number one in my mind. A company that has track record, that gives good finishes, that delivers value. That is positioning. And we want to position ourselves as a training school, as the preferred choice, so that in our customers' minds, if they want the best school, that offers the best value. They have no choice but to go to RCN Academy. Clap it, clap it. Ah, 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 thank you. We must position ourselves, create in the mind of the customers through advertisements and other means of communication that if you want the best value, you got no choice but to come to us because we deliver what we promise. You know, one of the ways of positioning is that we get positive reviews from our customers. You know, like if you go for a tour, you have trip advisors, the customer give positive, positive reviews. And these positive reviews, we, decim uh, we, 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 we pass to our customers and say, look here, look at our track record. We've got so many satisfied customers. You must come to us. So when people think of success, in real estate training, they think of RCN first. In the same way, we have so many developers. If we think of the best company in Nepal, I got no choice but to go to Dr. Om. If I want the best company in Indonesia, in Cambodia, then I got no choice but to go to that number one company because in my mind, that company is the best company. That is positioning, isn't it? Because we offer value. So if we want to be an iconic brand, you must create in the mind of the customers that you are the number one choice through advertisements and other communication. All right, so that is iconic. That is a famous brand. We see your brand. We trust your brand. We have emotional ties with your brand. That is our position. 
All right. So the next one. Let us continue. Huh? Success. Success begets success. Success is a learnable skill. Right. So the skills of iconic branding for your company can be learned through effective communication, through technical skills. We can learn from our own success. Why are we so successful? We look at our strategies. We repeat our strategies so that we get more success. But more than that, we learn from the success of other people, other organizations, so that we can adopt and adapt their strategies to be the iconic brand. So you can be the famous brand if you learn to, be, to learn from others and adopt and apply. If someone is doing better than us, then I ask, why? What can we learn so that we can be as good as, if not better than that brand? We want to be the iconic brand. In my mind, if you want the best training school in Singapore for real estate, you have no choice but to come to RCN. So if you want to be the best in your trade, you must let the world know that you are the developer, the largest that, develop, that delivers value. So success can be learned, can be duplicated. If someone is doing better than me, I want to know why. How can I learn and be equally good? I decided to learn more because learning is a continuous process. How do I do it? I look at their success, I analyze, and I duplicate their success. If they make it big, if they make it fast, why? How can they do it? Why can't I? So when I duplicate, I will be as good as them, if not better. I will be the iconic brand. So in this world, things are changing very fast. Many of us are reluctant to change. But I've got news for you. For things to change, you must change. If you don't change, you will be left behind. So for things to change, you must, be, you must change. And things are changing quickly. We must seize the opportunity. i give you one example. My company, the real estate agency, we look at the reports and the services done by other leading companies. And we incorporate. The latest change that I have is that in our property report and other communication, we incorporate chat GPT and other artificial intelligence. I can give you a report on anything regarding Singapore within minutes. The last time I did it was within hours, if not days. But now I can do it within five minutes. Any report in any language, Bahasa Indonesia, in Cambodian language, in Myanmar, in Chinese, because ChatGPT is there, we incorporate that artificial intelligence into our software. In the same way, when I teach, I do a lot of research. In the past, it takes me hours and days. But now with artificial intelligence, with ChatGPT, I can do it within minutes. We must change if we want to be successful. If we want to be iconic, if we want to be the forefront, we must deliver value. We must add value to our clients. How do we do it? We must be knowledgeable. We must be prepared to change. For things to change, we must change. You have two choices. Change or die. Evolve or dissolve. The choice is yours. I want to change. I want to evolve. I want to be the forefront. I want RCN to be the forefront. Therefore, we, the people of RCN, will change and lead in a change because we are an iconic brand. So the company must change. You must change. 
Remember, change or die. You don't change, you are left behind. You will be out of the industry. You will be left behind. Evolve or dissolve. The choice is yours. The power of change. Change quickly. Be the forefront. Use the best technology. Use artificial intelligence to assist you. Next, we can do more. We must do more. We must add more. For us, we want to learn what does the customer want. We deliver what they want and more than what they want. And they can see value in RCN. And in their mind, there's no choice if we want the best education. From the best trainer, there's no choice but RCN Academy. Right, so we will be number one to be the iconic brand. You must be good. You must add value. More than that, you must communicate. If you are good and we do not know that you are good, it's useless. You must communicate. Use digital marketing. Use Facebook. Tell the world that you are good. Otherwise, you will not be an iconic brand, no matter how good you are, because we do not know that you exist. Communicate, communicate, communicate. That is the key. When we launch a new product, it takes us from the starting stage. We have uh, product cycles. First, we introduce the product. Then, like iPhone, you know, there is a growth phase. And after that, it mature. And then you go down. In the traditional way, it takes 20 years to introduce, grow, mature. But today, it is a fast-changing world. If we introduce a product, a house, a design, an idea, it will not last 20 years. It may be gone in three years. If you do not change, you remain under the old school, you will dissolve. Evolve or dissolve. Change or die. We must change so that we can move quickly. We must be in the forefront. We are the leaders. So we are change adopters. If you are going to work hard, you might as well become rich. But you must work hard in the right way. We want to do more. We want to have more. In order to do more, to have more, we must give value to our customers. We add values. We look at the customer's point of view. How can I give you values more than what you want? And if you can believe me that I can deliver value, you will always cherish my brand, RCN. Strive to do more, to add more values to our clients. In order to share with you how to power clients, how to add more values, I have no choice but to introduce my colleague, Mr. Ken Su. Clap hand, clap hand. Thank you, Harry. Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. I'm honored to be on this international platform and I'll try my best to greet all of you because I know that this is the first time I'm standing on the international platform. I know that I do have friends from Myanmar, is that right? So, Mingalaba. Thank you very much. I do have friends from Indonesia. Selamat pagi, Puan Puan Dan, Tuan Tuan. Okay, and then I've got friends from uh, Dr. Om from Nepal. Ashitele, Namaste. Okay, and I've got friends from any Chinese speaking country. Tatia, Tao Shang. How? Oh, only three, three Chinese in the house? Okay, so my friends, okay? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Kokun Krab. So basically, my name is Ken. So in today's context, when we look at RES real estate profession, it's not just about buying and selling property. Don't you agree? We must first sell ourselves. So in Real Center Network, we actually empower REX, 
real estate professionals. So that, because we believe that, like Dr. Ohm has mentioned, we are not selling property. We must learn how to tell a story. So when you are a professional, always remember that property is not just buying and selling, but rather, you must be able to tell them a story. So when we are here, presence at Real Central Network, what we do is that we actually empower the aspiring RES by giving them not just the technical know-how. You can know everything. What are the facilities? What are, how many swimming pools are there? What are the gyms? How many gyms are there? But that is not enough. Rather, we must understand what the customer needs today. What do they want? What are the problems that they are facing? Because in Singapore, nowadays, I believe in many other countries that's upcoming, there's also going to be regulation going to be put in place. So, RCN, Real Center Network, was actually founded in 2010. And today in Singapore, real estate professional is actually governed by Council for Estate Agency, which was formed on 22nd October 2010. So, actually, if you look at RCN history, we are actually founded slightly before the regulation kicks in in 2010. So, basically in RCN, we are trying to empower real estate sales professionals so that we can add values to you. We can actually give you skill sets so that you can connect with the clients, with the buyers out there, understanding their needs. Because people do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. Don't you agree with my statement? I repeat, uh, people do not care how much you know. You can be a very, very knowledgeable in of your products. But if you do not understand what does your customer wants, it's useless. They will just acknowledge your presentation and they will just walk away and say, I will come back to you, Mr. and Mrs. So in order for you to succeed in sales profession, especially real estate, we are not selling property per se. We are selling the needs of the customer. So in Singapore, our country leaders always have encouraged all of us to be a lifelong learner. So I believe all of us okay, in the house today, we are all lifelong learners. We are constantly arming ourselves with new technology, new knowledge, new skill sets, so that we can empower and reach our customer. So it's all about individual. It's all about individual. So you must be able to enhance yourself Make yourself valuables. So because when you have more values, more knowledge, more ideas, then you can actually add values to your customer, add values to this marketplace. So that when we talk about property, remember, we are not selling property. Okay? We are understanding the needs of our customer. And with that, you will have to actually constantly upskill ourselves, relearn. Sometimes you may even have to and learn your knowledge. So that, because the property market, people, we are constantly changing. So, RCN, we have actually founded also Real Central Academy, that we are actually reaching out to our ASEAN partners. We are already present in Cambodia. We are present in Myanmar, Thailand. Okay? And we are constantly okay, reaching out to our ASEAN partners or in fact, to the world, so that we can add values, and then we can actually exchange values, knowledge, and skill set with the world. Because this is a world population. We are talking, we are looking at people from all over the world, regardless of age, language, religions, or races. So today, wherever we are, I believe that we are able to connect with people from all over the world because I know that as a real estate professional, we are not just talking about the property in your country. I believe that many of us, we are also involved in properties with other countries like everywhere, like Bangkok, okay, like Myanmar, okay, like Nepal. I mean, Nepal is a very nice country which I'll be visiting in November. I'll be going there for a 
uh, uh, actually a pilgrims. It's actually a meditation retreat. So I hope that I can also actually go to one of the luxurious villa by Dr. Om. So having said that, I really hope that all of you will allow RCN, Real Centered Network, to add values to you and to your entity. So with that, let me hand over to Ken. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Ken. I call him the young Ken. Huh? You can see he speak with uh, even louder, he move even faster. Huh? Okay, now I want to go to the next topic here that I talk about leveraging. Talk about leveraging. Now, uh, Now, I think technology is very good, especially the seniors. Huh? I tell you seriously, I leverage on my staff a lot. Now in our company, we have uh, those in the 70s, those in the 60s. Hey, they are still very useful. They got a good connection, a wealth of experience. Then uh, those in the 50s, those in the 40s. Those, now I got new staff coming, those in the 30s. Super, super good. And we need to uh, work together as a team. Now, actually, uh, I had uh, my marketing director here. And we always say that in everything, you need promotion. So bear with me that I'm promoting RCN. Huh? Okay? This is how to build. So again, I know that uh, it's already taken about uh, we will five minutes. I think I shot. Can you please position yourself first? Adi, I'm going to finish very quick. If you pay attention, then we finish. Then we're going to finish. Okay? Position yourself means you have to sit up, right? Sit up, sit up. I know that you're all busy people, just pay attention for this one. Okay. Now, leveraging, if you are not leveraging, you are working too hard and earning too little. Oh, right. I mean, you, if you want to work hard, make sure well make more wealth, right? Now, leveraging, actually, if you are not leveraging, you are working too hard and earning too little. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, actually, I've got seven points. Now, point number one, tap on other talent, skill, Contact and resources. Now, when you use the word tap, tap, tap put the power. Add value to them and then leverage on each other. Now, when it comes to Thailand, I want to leverage on Dr. Support. I don't want to create anything because I don't know about Thailand. I don't know their culture, I don't know their language, I don't know who are the good ones, who are the bad ones. No, then everywhere they are good, bad, and ugly. Bad, the ugly, you finish. So you need to leverage step on the other talent skill. Right. Number two, utilizing the latest technology and telecommunication. My colleagues talk to you about AI. AI. They even change your language. My lang English language is not the very best because I'm Chinese educated. Mandarin. Suppose we are multiracial, multi-religion, but our English are not the best. Our Mandarin are not the best. So you need to step on AI. Going, they will change the language for you. Is this better? He said, no, no good. I didn't learn. My assistant do learn what I want. This is what's called leveraging. Point number three, get celebrity to endorsement. Now, I realize this. Celebrity endorsement, very important. Right? When they endorse you, you know why you get all the celebrity to endorse your brand? <laughs> because they look up to them think your brand must be good. And they say some good thing for you. That one is paid. What do you call advertisement? Share with you. Don't leverage that. For, you, for us, we are RCN. We are small and medium-sized enterprise. Don't have that much money. I cannot get the, 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 the media corp star to cross for me. He will ask for a bomb. And I don't have the bomb. I want to pay my staff well. I want to pay myself well. So what I do, I realize this. Wow, for 40,000 alumni graduates, when they are new students, when they are young, you know what I do? Let them, endorse them, they endorse you. You got me not? And when they become well-known, you know what I mean? In Singapore, we have one example. Can you do it? Our boy, they call it our boy to men in the military. It's a military show by Media Corp. And these people here, that means the our boy from, then you go into the army, you become men. That's what they say. That, that, that's the show. 
I realized that that is one of my students. Wow, he was so happy when he passed the exam. You know what I do? He start posting. Wow, I say, CEA. No. We are not supposed to use CEA council or state agency to endorse our brand. We are very strict down there. You cannot use the government to endorse you. You get mentor Lee Kuan Yew photo for you, you have to pay for it. Now, seriously, when we post him, we, we are very careful of that. So, so what do you do? Now, he go and post. Oh, very good. You know what I do? I leverage on him. A boy to men. Then all those are by him. Then he's a celebrity. Then, then he's so happy that I'm posting for him. So that is leveraging. No. Selling product before you have them or before you pay for them. Uh, this sound, this, all this term, you look at it, sound like very oh, unscrupulous. Huh? Don't pay for it, you sell the product. But do you realize that, hey, Alibaba, all the Lazada, selling the product before they have it. Oh, 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 oh. Then they go and buy, 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 buy. Well, they collect the money first. This is what called leveraging. So these are good lessons that we can learn. Now all of you are paying too much. Paying too much and getting too little. Now leveraging means managing that so that you pay little, get more. In the most ethical way that you can. Now, number five. Getting the best industry to work for you for almost nothing. Right? Now, tell you, my fifth, 30 trainers, one of them is the president of the S a financial industry. Harry Yo. Harry Yo is not in my company, my real estate company. I got another real estate company. Harry Yo is Orange Tea. Okay, we leverage him. And he, he don't start recruiting people. Come and join me, come and join you. I tell you seriously, as a our Singapore industry. Very, very, I use very strong word in my presentation. Very sickening. And mine is the best. Come and join me. No, you are not fair to the people who recommend you. Come stay there. We can have MO. We can add value to each other. Then they will respect you. You know why these people come to RCN? ERA, they have their school. Robnet claim to have 15, going to have 15,000 agents in Singapore alone. They have their own school. Orange State have uh, not the registered school, but their own trainer. Hutton, one of the largest, who have 4,000 agents now. They have their own school. But do you know why their managers are asking them to come to RCN? Because we are neutral. Teach them, go back to where you are. You don't recruit them into my agency. Because they want to join me, I welcome them. I, I don't recruit them. So, getting, okay, uh, getting more from your employee by training. Singapore government keep encouraging. And then they realize this. If I don't train my staff, they cannot be productive, right? No. In the old school. Train them, train them, then after they leave you. Nobody is going to work for you for life. Right? As long as they are there, you train them well, they find there's a career path, they will stay with you. I'm very honored that I have staff staying with me for 30 years, 40 years, 12 years, 13, 15 years. Because I value them. I add value to them. I don't use them. I use the word very strong. You encourage them so that they will continue to function with you and product. Huh? Yeah. Using power of the media, getting millions of free publicity. Now, I want you all to learn from Dr. Supon. Seriously, I don't just say this. He didn't pay me to say this. I had to pay to come for this event. Right? Dr. Supon. Oh, yeah. No way. Wow. Every now he's promoting. But foreign delegate, 23 country coming. 100 uh, what, local uh, de delegate, right? 500 already. Then some more. Million. Uh, no, no, he didn't say million. I don't exaggerate. Uh, he said many of them on. So he, like, is he actually promoting. And suddenly like these are all what they call leveraging. Social media, once you start posting, wow, hashtag, 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 suddenly so many free publicity. You know what that? Leveraging. Free. All free. But you know what they always like? Sometimes you see there's so many. Wow, my hand. Sometimes I don't know whether to lock in or not to lock in. No, you know, scamming. So frightening. 
then I'm IT illiterate. Really, it's quite illiterate, yeah. I realized it, don't close it now. Okay, it, it. So, I don't, but anyway, leveraging. Now, the last point here, last point, yeah. Managing your time and prioritize. Let's prioritize. Prioritize. I know that even in this event, there are so many people that we can meet and so many we love to meet. But can you meet the 200 of them? Ah. Huh? Last year I was here, I was excited, I met a few very good ones. And I met people. Now, because some of them, after me, then they go back, <laughs> ask me. <laughs> no, not, not, not that I, I want. But I think that really, because we need to add value. So, so managing your time and prioritize very, very super. It is, okay. Uh, we'll go back there. The next one. Now, anyway, uh, leveraging, it is an art. It is also a science. And it's actually very essential for wealth creation. For wealth creation. I would, you use this word uh, formally. I'm not so bold to use word like this. Uh, I may, maybe I'm not nowhere compared to in terms of wealth to many of you. Uh, I, I, I don't I'll say it, but it is fact of life. I say one mountain, there's a higher mountain. Correct. Right. And that, that's it. Okay. A lot of people, you, you, you are not doing as well because you, they are saying that they don't know, they don't know. No, no. That's I don't know how they create. So we need to learn. Right? And then you put them in the good. Okay. If you are not leveraging, you are working too hard, you are really. So uh, with this, I actually want to say that. Also, another point that I thought we are actually going to franchising. Actually, franchising is quite interesting. I hope that uh, really franchise, I don't just franchise, just uh, uh, buy a franchise and then you do whatever you need to do. You just buy my name. That one is not franchising to me. Go there and add value. The franchise must so, so much go there and add value. Don't leverage them, they pay you money, pay you money. They drop out. You go there and add value. So franchising is one model. Uh, I better close. Huh? This time is real closing. Uh, I, we had a song. Building an iconic brand is so like something different from you. My wife said, why are you so like this? Boring. No, I make my staff sing. I make my staff dance. I make them feel that. You know, look at National Day. Uh, Singapore government, oh, they do. This is branding. And then getting the people alive. Okay. So we are close with this song. Huh? Okay. And I was, I'll sing for you, don't worry. Hey, my staff, I said, don't come sing. Now, these are HQ staff, they're all very, very shy. Hey, I, the last, last time, last year I came, I do, right? Do you remember the song or those who here? We sold last month, we sold the month before. We got to sell this month like we never sell before. And as we sell, we're happy as can be. For we are all from the RC family. We sold last month, we sold the month before. We got to sell this month like we never sell before. And as we sell, we're happy as can be. For we are all from the RC family. It's a very simple song. Huh? Okay. And I see this. In, in what? Okay. Thank you very much for the compliment. <laughs> now, uh, there's a meaning to this song. Sometimes when I'm not free, all leaders, you've got your quiet time. I think leader, they, they'll come out where you are. Looks super good. we got our set time. We're very lonely. And you know, begin to sing this song. Now, in anything that you do, you don't sell. Let me back. You sell your franchise. You sell your property. Okay? You sell, sell another uh, a cost. Okay? So that's why I said you sold last month, sold the month before. I got to sell like I never sell before. So I leave this with you and thank you once again for paying okay, so careful attention to our presentation. And I wish you well and I hope that you network and get more value back from this. Thank you very much.